there everyone, this is Trestle242 and it's time for another episode of the Decade Challenge. Lawrence Zest is calling Glorietta, well that's alright. Oh and Ivy is just taking a nap. I suppose she could take a nap on her bed as well. Oh Dorothy, you could use Ivy's bathroom though. It's very cold, so they're wearing their cold weather gear. Because it's winter, and honestly, I think the cold weather clothes are real cute for the little girls. That little coat, I think it's adorable, and the little bag. But, Glorietta. She's been feeling rather sick of having to be a surrogate mother. And so she has an idea. Now Helen is feeling very happy, although quite sleepy. And Lauren says she sent her a text. Well, maybe she shouldn't sleep, she should just nap, actually. And then she should do homework. Yes, they're both going to nap. <laughs> and someone is calling Edwin. Lauren says he's wondering if I want to meet him someplace at the Planet Honey Pop Karaoke Bar. Let's say no. Well, Edwin could do with a shower, I suppose. And Glorietta is just ensuring the family has money. Well, Ivy is very hungry. So what she could do is she could serve dinner. She could serve some chili. And someone is calling some crazy party going on at the bluffs. I know that's a, like a rave party, so let's not go. Hey, I heard you and Dorothy's sister are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly you're a good person to know. Yeah, that's good. I guess Glorietta is a good person to know. She's quite nice, actually. Now she's going to go to the bathroom. Joy is awake and she's filthy and their bladder is low so she could use with going to the bathroom and then taking a shower and then Edwin who's quite hungry he could repair he could repair Ivy's fridge. And he could upgrade some other stuff as well. Helen is feeling sad because nobody celebrated her birthday. Poor thing. Both girls are just sitting in the easy chairs doing their homework.
I kind of like their makeover. I can't say that it's typically 1920s, because I couldn't find a lot of good information on what children in the 1920s wore. But I mean, I would say that a dress is, you know, this sort of outfit is fairly typical. Go on then, finish your homework, and then you can go down and have some dinner. It looks quite tasty, I must say. She's very hungry and also quite tired. Oh, they're being quite sweet. Uh -huh. Oh, poor Helen is still sad because nobody remembered her birthday. She needs to use the bathroom so she can go do that. I don't know who it is that keeps forgetting to flush, it's very annoying. They're just talking. And Helen is feeling very tired, so I think it's time for her to go to bed. Assign bed to Helen. She gets the pink bed. Time for her to go to sleep, and it's time for Dorothy to go to sleep. Now, what is Joy doing? She should throw away this rubbish. And sometimes we have spooky music. I think it is because of the ghosts. Yes, because the ghosts begin to appear. And you know, says at first he was sad, but now he seems happy. I hope it doesn't destroy anything. Joy is feeling quite playful. Oh, they're crying in their sleep. Poor children. And Edwin, well, at least he had some food. He needs to use the bathroom. Once he's done eating, that is. Oh, and he broke the sink. Of course he broke the stupid sink. Ugh, these ghosts, so annoying. And I think he's going to break the fridge as well. Mm. 
new skill day was awful for everyone. Edwin just needs to go to bed. Come on, Edwin, go to bed. One of them is dreaming about death. And the cat Jerry is so cute. Sounds like none of them had a night's night's sleep. Edwin is awake for some reason. Oh, but why is his energy so low? He has been asleep. You should just go to bed. Yes, now that everyone is going to bed, then we just have to wait. I have I have put it on fast forward, but it's not really doing much. Edwin has got this week's military pension. Helen is erratic. So she's sad for no real reason. They go to go out and play. She's so sad, oh. Go on, have your food. Is she going to have it upstairs to play with the cat? Yes, I think she is. <laughs> now, Helen can go out and play with Dorothy, I think. Yes, they're playing together. How cute. They need to go to school. They can't be playing anymore. They're already late. Now go on, Helen. Don't be a naughty girl. You need to go to school. Dorothy is going to study hard, and so is Helen. Ivy is feeling focused, because she's playing chess. But she just needs to use the bathroom, however, and probably the shower as well. Why is Joya standing around? Principal's visit. Today the principal is visiting Helen's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Should she ignore it or ask the kid to stop? Just ignore it. Helen keeps her eyes dutifully on the board, hoping the kid will stop. Instead, the kid fires a ball of paper so hard it rolls up to the teacher's feet. For once, somebody else gets into trouble. And Helen gets to look innocent and studious. That's good. And I apologize if you hear a bunch of noise from outside. Someone is calling Edwin. Kiss and tell. 
Helen spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. She didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. It's just kids being kids, honestly. And now he's feeling angry. But anyway, for Glorietta. It's time to change. <laughs> she has decided that she wants to be the new kind of woman. Let's see where it is, the haircut that I want to give her. Well, it's not long, it might be in short. Hmm. And again, it might be in medium. There we go. This quite severe 1930s bob haircut. But just change her look rather a lot. And she's also going to pluck her eyebrows. And she's even decided to try on some makeup. I figure a sort of fairly dark smoky eye thing might work. Perhaps this blue. Bit of the old blush. Quite strong. I'm also going to remove her acne because she's a young woman now and she does it. her skin is cleared up. And then some nice bright red lips. There we go, I think this made it look quite 1920s. And then she's going to change her dress as well. Ah. And well, I think this day dress is rather good. Perhaps this striped version. Ah. And then... Hmm. 
Perhaps these are the small hills. My pair of thick stockings. Yes, indeed, I do believe that's quite good. She's not exactly a flapper, she just wants to be the new modern woman. What colors? That you make look good. I do think this grey thing looks rather nice on her. So let's put her in this. Yes, indeed. And someone is calling Edwin. Lunch of sadness. Some of the kid threatened Helen and took her lunch money. She's been crying in the office. Find the kid or I will. Since he's so angry, I can go try to punch his feelings out. Oh, he's not angry anymore. And Ivy's feeling focused. And she can go jogging. Oh, is she eating rotten food? Maybe uh, you should probably clean that up. Now she's feeling very uncomfortable because she didn't really like going jogging. Time for her to head back home. And Edwin has reached logic level 6. Good for him. And Joy has aged up, she's now an adult. And our new woman, Glorietta, can take a bath. Because she stinks. Someone is calling Joy. Oh, it's Sullivan who has got a birthday party. Helen has returned home with a school project. And so has Dorothy. And none of them bought anything usual. Got anything special in the uh, grades department? 
Joy is sad because nobody celebrated her birthday. Well, I didn't get a notification for her birthday, so you know. Well, what about Helen? She's just standing there. What she could do is she could place her school project in the world. And start working carefully on it. And so good Dorothy. She's also taking a bath in mud. I don't know why the water turns to mud so easily. And Edwin, you need to repair some things. Unwelcome present. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to treat it with a friend, it will give it back. Can I do that? That present was for you, be grateful. And poor Dorothy, she really smells bad. She can take a bath as well. And poor Jerry is hungry. So Joy can go feed him. Come on Joy. Come on. Why is she standing there? Do I really have to? There we go. Ivy is uncomfortable because everything is dirty. Dorothy is getting help. Not Dorothy, Helen is getting help from Edwin. So Joy, why don't you help? Dorothy. Bjorn Bjergsen wants them to go to the Humor and Hijinks festival, but no. Now Edwin is feeling angry. He can go and take an angry poop. And then Ivy, who is feeling quite happy, can serve dinner. She can serve some chicken saltimbocca, which I don't know what it is, but it sounds fancy. Well, Dorothy, why don't you go along and start selling all of these things? Dorothy finished her school project quickly. Extra credit has been awarded. Well, Helen is still working with hers. Someone is calling Ivy. Lauren says is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. No. Well, Ivy, why don't you call everyone to eat? Helen finished her school project. Very good. Someone is calling Dorothy. It's Lauren Sest. Dorothy, I just found out about this concert at an abandoned warehouse. No. 
quite an appropriate thing to text a child. Let's put the toddler chairs into the inventory. We have quite a few things in here. Oh well, never mind. Let's just put down some normal chairs instead. They won't be handmade by Thaniel like the other chairs. I reckon he's asking her, why did you cut off all your hair? Oh, and he's still angry. He can try to calm himself down and he can take a cold shower. And Dorothy is having a bit of a talk with Edwin. Her older brother. She's saying that it's time she started off her own life. What's going on? Ivy, you can go and do the laundry. He's so angry. There's a crazy party, let's not go. Since Edwin put a rose in there, it's going to be making it smell extra nice when, when Ivy does the laundry. What are you doing then? Well, you're very bored. You could play for a bit and you could clean up that mess. And then perhaps play... is going to play some of their toys. Oh, and it started snowing.
Oh, it's a blizzard out. Yep, it's a blizzard. It's freezing. No, she's feeling very tense because she's very bored. So she's playing with the big cat toy. so cute and she's uncomfortable because she's cold so perhaps she should change outfit to her cold weather gear She's adorable. Joy, you need to. Can you use Ivy's toilet? I hate these stupid ghosts. School for the kids start in about an hour. We're at least making some money. Both kids are going to school. Go on, you need to go to school, you have no time to read. Ella needs to study hard. And they're doing quite well. Mm. Their old grades department. Well, what are you doing? Why don't you just use the buff? Oh, then use Ivy's toilet. <laughs> and it's Winterfest tomorrow. There we go, Ivy is cleaning up. <laughs> and since she's a bit hungry, she can get some leftovers. Uh -huh. 
And well, I do believe that I will end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode of the Decades Challenge and that you will come back and join me for more. Thank you everyone for watching. And if you enjoyed this, why not like? And if you really liked it, you can always subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you. Take care everyone. Bye.